Hello, and you're watching Project Denizen. Um, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how to get players in Football Manager 2012 without paying an absolute huge lump sum for them. Um, it is a bit of a cheat, so if you want to really enjoy your game, I wouldn't suggest doing this. If you're just doing it for a bit of a mess around, it's alright. So what you want to do, you want to go to Preferences, um, and you want to go to Add New Manager. Now by adding a new manager you're taking control of another team, by taking control of that team you can say who gets bought, who gets sold. Um, so yeah, we'll go through that, I think we'll pick Real Madrid. Seems to have some decent players. If you haven't already noticed I am Liverpool, I'm a Liverpool fan, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about that. Um, but hey, you know, stick with what you know. So here we go, we're just setting up now and... Our second manager is now going to be added as Real Madrid. So what we're going to do, we're going to go, we're going to find, uh, we're going to go and change a user to Real Madrid. And what you want to do, you want to go and find the player that you want. So in this case, I'm going for Angel Di Maria. Is it Angel Angel? I don't know. But hey, there we go. So if you find the player that you want, you want to click on him. There we go. We've got him up there. And what you want to do, you want to go to, um, can't really see my screen at the minute. Yeah, so you, you want to go into these transfers and what you want to do, you want to, you know, tell him he's not needed by the club. This is going to really wind him up. And you'd also want to transfer list him. And then you want to go and have a little chat with him. So you've got all different things that you can chat with him about happiness and all that. What we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to talk about our transfer status. And I can decide to click on transfer status. And we're going to tell him that he's not needed by the club. I'm taking a while to click here, aren't I? Yeah, so there we go. He's uh, He's got the hump now. He doesn't want to play for you anymore. So basically then, what you want to do, you want to go to your... Uh, you want to go to your change user. And you want to go back to the team that you actually are, that you're managing. And then you go and find him in the search bar. Or as I already attempted a bit for Xabi Alonso. I, I went that way. So yeah, you go find him. You'll put a bid in when you click on it. Bear in mind this does not work with all players because some players, no matter what you do to them, they don't want to leave the club. I'm putting in a no transfer. Uh, no money is changing hands for this transfer. So it's an easy way if you're on a short budget and you want players coming in. This is an easy way to do it. Like I said, don't do it if you're, if you're serious about the game. If you want to see how far you can get. So what you want to do, you want to go back to your other player and you want to accept the transfer and then it'll take you back to the team that you originally were what you want to do then you want to offer him a contract the best way to get the players through on this is basically if you look over where it says first team if you give them if they're really you know top quality players what you want to do you want to go change it from per first team to key player what this is going to do this is going to give you more loyalty bonus it's going to give you more wages pretty much just you know it ups the transfer kitty for you. And it's always nice to put in a little agent fee because the agent gets a bit narky as well. So then what you want to do, you want to, as you can see, it's turned green there. So that means, you know, he's happy with the deal. If any other deals at this point come through from anybody else, because you have put him on the transfer market, you can decline them. It's the best, best thing to do to decline them so it doesn't unsettle him a bit further. And there you go, we've signed him. De Maria is now a Liverpool player. So that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but like I said, if you do want to play the game properly, I wouldn't suggest doing this. This is just for a bit of fun if you want to build up a good team. Okay, and we'll see you next time on Project Denison. Okay, bye.